Movie Massacre. How you doing, Weird James? Oh, what a weekend. (laughs) (laughs) Man, I am still laughing at you in that stripper costume on Friday, busting through the door and doing a dance for Kelly. Oh, they were trying to buy the clothes (laughs) off me in there. It was great. (laughs) The movie you went to see this weekend is Magic Mike. You are that dreamboat guy that never came along. You are the one-night stand, that free fling of a... That they get to have tonight with you on stage and still go home to their hubby and not get in trouble because you, baby, you made it legal. You are the liberation. (laughs) Own it. I'm sorry that Kelly's not here this morning. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Because she was so excited to see this movie, and I'm thinking maybe she's not here because it was a little much for her. Took too much out of her. I told I was looking at her a lot, and she was right into it. So she was she was loving it. So from a guy's perspective, because we know the ladies were going crazy for this movie. A friend of mine says she almost saw a fight between two women in the theater over seats because they just wanted to be close to. Channing Tatum on screen. That's right. What was it like from a guy's perspective? From a guy's... Well, the movie uh, was not... I think it was a classic example of a bait and switch. They promised this stripper movie, but most of the stripping was uh, done like a Rocky montage. It wasn't very uh, long. And it was just a great drama, and it wasn't. I think any guy could get into this movie, uh, you know, because of the the stripping scenes. Uh, they just are nice and fast, and then you're on to kind of cool stories about doing drugs and wild times, right? So. <laughs> How much male nudity is there? Is there any? Uh, is there any genitalia, male genitalia, swinging around on there screen? There is a, a blurry, big, giant close up of a of a penis uh, that I saw, and then the rest is just uh, bums. Big tan bums. What do you mean bump. blurry? Like it's blurry. Out there's of focus? A, there's a guy who uh, is using a penis pump under the table as uh, he's getting ready to go on stage. Okay. So, so, it's, yeah. so were the women expecting more, do you think? I think they were definitely expecting more. They were. They thought, uh, based on the advertising, that it was going to be nonstop male stripping. And uh, it starts right out of the gate like that, but then, yeah, you could hear the... The like the wind gets sucked out of them a little bit. They were they were disappointed that uh, <laughs> that they didn't get what they wanted. So what about female nudity? Yes, right. Uh, yep, yep. Female nudity just a little bit, but yeah. Plus lots of uh, you know hot girls in that movie, bikinis and all that. So but, should guys be like if you're going to see this movie and you're a guy, should you should be going with a girl though, right? Like you can't go see Magic Mike with with like four of your buddies. Yeah, probably. Well, you could of course, but go with a yeah. Look, go with your girlfriend. You would definitely get something out of it and enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Y- you talked to some of the ladies uh, after the movie was over, and this is what they had to say to Weird James. Uh, uh, I'm looking the aisles for bloomies and panties. I don't see nothing, but I got Woodrow's mom. What'd you think? How was how greasy was that movie? Oh, they could have showed a little bit more skin, but other than that, it was pretty good. Could have showed a little more skin. Absolutely. <laughs> Would have liked more, more behind. More behind. Well, there you go. The whole two hours should have been Channing Tatum dancing to Genuine. I would pay good money to see that. Go. You know what, though? I was watching your, your face a lot. You were looking like uh, you were going over Space Fountain a few times in that movie. Though. Oh, yeah. He is sexy. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Love him. Um, I was, I'm was. i losing my voice. You are? Because, what, are you, what have you been doing? Because, you because I was screaming so loud at Channing Tatum's ass. I, oh, and then Matt McConaughey. Ooh. Hot potato. Hot potato. <laughs> well, they're going to Magic Mike! Magic Mike cleaned out real. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, go home and be nice to your men. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Woodrow's mom. A little disappointed there wasn't more skin. How do you feel about that, Woodrow? I really don't know what to say to that one. (laughs) Uh, Okay, James. So, I have a feeling, first of all, you're going to be a little lonely when you go to next week's movie. Yeah, I was. Yeah, this was. This is a hard assignment to top. I mean, I was like one guy for every 50 women in the theater. It was uh, was pretty wild in there, so. What do you give Magic Mike? This is how James rates movies. It's how many shots of alcohol he had to sneak during the film to enjoy it. So the more shots, the worse. And Magic Mike gets... One big, long shot. One big, blurry, under-the-table shot. Yes. <laughs> it was a really good movie, actually. You're going to see the new Oliver Stone movie, Savages, this coming weekend? Yes, opening this Friday. Savages. All right, cool. We've got passes to that film, actually, to give away with uh, Game of Palooza coming up in about 15 minutes here. Weird James, thanks for coming in this morning. No problem.